Welcome to Radio 64. Welcome to Radio 64, Video Game Music Remix Radio. I'm your host, Eric Mickles, also known online as Dusk vs. Tweak. Radio 64 is part of the Radio Meanwhile Network. You can visit RadioMeanwhile.com for more information about this and other great podcasts. Find past episodes of Radio 64 on iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, and YouTube. And thank you to WRAQ 92.7 FM in Angelica, New York, for hosting us every Monday at 6 p.m. The song we opened the show with is called Alpha Blade by Beat Drop from OCRemix.org from the game Guilty Gear X. And that was just a high energy, exciting track. Definitely a trance piece with a pretty deep soundscape. Uh, I've never played the Guilty Gear X games being basically a Street Fighter only fighting fan. Uh, unless there's an X-Men fighting game. Oh, Guilty Gear X-Men. Ooh. Has that crossed over? Uh, very sparkly and adrenaline-fueled, that song right there. So again, that was Alpha Blade by Beat Drop from ocremix.org from the game Guilty Gear X. The next track up is a pretty funky piece with a lot of different instruments going throughout, all each having a turn at going through a solo. But yes, it's this, this track is basically... 90s funk music. I can see the bright yellow and pink shorts walking down the sidewalk while listening to this tune. It's 
This, this track creates a very vivid picture, and it's from the game Toe Jam and Earl. Sega games that I was not playing with at all, though I, I always remember seeing the characters Toe, Toe Jam and Earl, basically on all the magazines or uh, hearing kids talk about it at school. As I said, there's a whole bunch of different instruments in this song, each kind of getting their own little funky solo. Whether or not you're a Toe Jam and Earl fan, I think this track will be an interesting listen. It's called Wake Up by Jake Kaufman from ocremix.org from the game Toe Jam and Earl.
That was Wake Up by Jake Kaufman from ocremix.org from the game Toe Jam and Earl. Yeah, I don't know if uh, Toe Jam and Earl is on that Sega Mega Collection that I have on my uh, on my PC. I'm going to have to check that out. I couldn't tell you what those games are. They, they always look kind of weird. The same way that like uh, Ren and Stimpy, like I had an interest in them, but maybe they were a little too gross. Up next is a pretty fun electronic piece, this very robotic Almost Daft Punk-like quality, kind of like the music you would you would hear in a Tron-like soundtrack. I think it's that even though the track is being is a very repetitive tune, the music that's being played goes through changes in terms of uh, keys or instruments. So while the the main groove that's playing here and just uh, plays around with it as it goes on, and this is definitely the the type of music I can just listen to forever. If this track was another 15 minutes long, I'd have no problem with it. We have Ramble and Mess by Justin Tense from ocremix.org from the game Marble Madness. Ramble and Mess by Justin Tents from ocremix.org from the game Marble Madness. We played a Marble Madness track a while ago, and I had looked it up, and it, uh, it, it looks like a game that if I had known it was out there as a kid, I would have really wanted to play that. It, it looks uh, it looks like a lot of fun, I, though it also looks like something I might have been real bad as a kid. Uh, most things that I enjoyed playing when I was younger... I was no good at them. No good at all. So the title of this track basically describes the sound. Uh, this track is called Just Chill. And I I think at the beginning, when I first started this show, I used to use chill a lot. Like, this is a very chill song. This is a cool, chill song. And I don't know what to do with this one, because it is. This piece is just a very chill song. It's a piano and woodwinds piece with uh, some el electronic elements in there. But the whole thing is just this very laid-back, 
sensory piece of music. And maybe because it reminds me a little bit of like the Nintendo, the original NES and Super NES Jurassic Park soundtrack a bit. Maybe that's why I kind of hear this like tropical jungle vibe to it as well, even if it's not there. It just kind of connects to a different source in my brain. And now I, I kind of get a Jurassic Park game soundtrack when I listen to this. So this is Just Chill by The Pancake Chef from ocremix.org from the game Chrono Cross. That was Just Chill by The Pancake Chef from ocrms.org from the game Chrono Cross. How many characters were in Chrono Cross that you could collect? It Wasn't it like there were 50-something characters in the whole game and you could only get so many of them, so you just had to keep replaying if you ever wanted to see each one of their stories? Madness. And weren't there like seven different endings? That That's the kind of game where it's just like, what have you done? We only have so much time. Another electronic piece coming up, though this one is a bit more aggressive, I think. It's called Motion Sickness from Portal 2. It's from the Reconstructing Science track originally on Portal 2. Portal 2, a lot of fun. I I mean, yes, if, if I could only choose one Portal game, I'm just going to pick Portal 1. Portal 2, very big, very fun, a great game, but there were some times where I felt it stretched, it was stretched a little too thin, and that the first Portal game was just the right amount, just the right size and right length, and it was just a perfect little game, and Portal 2 kind of stretched it to, and sometimes a little bit beyond its limits. But it's interesting listening to this because I don't really, outside of those end, those brilliant end credit songs, I don't really remember a lot of music from either of the Portal games. Anyways, this is called Motion Sickness by Ieno Cascatello from ocremix.org from the game Portal 2.
That was Motion Sickness by Eno Cascatelio from OCRMX.org from the game Portal 2. Can you dance to that track? If, if, that, if, uh, if that song Motion Sickness just came on in a club, uh, could you light up your glow sticks and dance to that? Alright, a metal remix from an old Nintendo Entertainment System game from the first, the original Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, though I think you're legally we're only allowed to call it Punch-Out these days, is that right? Uh, we're supposed to take the Mike Tyson off of it. 1987's Punch-Out. This is an electric rock metal piece with, um, some vocals by the group Game Over tend to remix video game tracks with these similar mentalities, going for that kind of vocal metal rock style. And so this is Little Mac's confession telling the story of Little Mac going up against a fight that might be too hard for him and having to, to come back. There's a lot of fun stuff in here. You the, the elements that come from the actual game, the knocked out sound, the, the bits where you can hear the ring bell getting count down, the keep it clean pre-chorus line, and punch out to this day, a lot of fun as well. Little Max Confession by Game Over from OCRMX.org from the game Punch Out. <laughs>
That was Little Max Confession by Game Over from OCRMS.org from the game Punch Out. Maybe back in like 2004? 2004? There, there was a point when I was a teenager where me and my mom pooled some resources together and got an original NES and a whole bunch of games off of eBay. And one of the games we got was Punch Out. And I hadn't played it as a kid, but playing as a teen, it, it was still so much fun. Uh, I def it definitely got to a point where it was a lot harder than it started out to be. And I was getting pretty mad, almost controller throwing mad. I think the original Punch Out game has stood the test of time and is uh, is still worth playing. And if 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 you enjoyed that, definitely go check out Game Over's work. They did a couple of albums with similar takes on them. So Game Over, a, a very cool band to look into. Okay, up next, I can de I have to just I've never played. Uh, Katamari Damacy, probably to my own loss. Every everybody I ever hear talk about it just just loves it. But I, I think as a kid it looked too strange and too weird and too esoteric, and I just didn't know what the game was about at all. But this track, I, I really like. It's called "Love Everlasting" by DDR Kirby ISQ. It's a chip tune piece, and the the chip tune specifically sounds like it came right out of the original Game Boy. Even with the opening, that sounds like uh, you, you turning on a, the original Game Boy. This is just a happy, chirpy piece uh, of chiptune love. From what I've seen of Katamari Damacy, the, this, this track seems like it should go right along with that game. Just uh, a happy, peaceful tune that gets very joyful near the end. So this is called Love Everlasting by DDR Kirby ISQ from ocrmx.org from the game Katamari Damacy.
That was Love Everlasting by DDR Kirby ISQ from OCRemix.org from the game Katamari de Marcy. Uh, 2004 on the PS2, really? I thought that game was came out much later than that. I thought it was maybe a PS3 game. Uh, did it take... I should have researched Katamari de Marcy. I'm just falling apart here talking about it. If you played that game... I hope you enjoyed that song. If you had to play that game, I also hope you enjoyed that song. I hope we can all just listen to that song, Love Everlasting, and be filled with joy within our hearts. This track is called Dreamscape. It comes from Xenogear. Specifically, it comes from the album Humans in Gears, Xenogears Remix, that OC Remix put out back in 2009. Uh, I've said multiple times that Xenogears is on my to play list. Still true. Still haven't gotten to it. Uh, I've been playing through a few games... Uh, on my backlog, and Xenogears is still there, though it's slowly rising to the top as I continue to cut through that list. JRPG that has fascinated me ever since I uh, found out about it. Really, ever since I played Xenosaga. So, if, if this was a Xenosaga song, I, I'd have I'd have lot to lots of love to say regarding it. Aggressive momentum building electronic music that then ha gets some uh, woodwinds in there. I think uh, kind of creates this really unique sound, F something that goes from very beat heavy and crunchy to then having this very acoustic woodwind sound mixed in there. Very unique. And look at this. It's another Yasunori Mitsada soundtrack, uh, Xenogears. This, the original track was After the Soldier's Dreams. I uh, can't tell you what scene that is, because I've I failed. I failed myself by not playing Xenogears. So this track is called Dreamscape by Nutritious from ocrx.org from the game Xenogears. That was Dreamscape by Nutritious from ocremix.org from the game Xenogears, again from the album 
Humans and Gears, Xenogears Remixed. Uh, at this point, I've listened to so much Xenogears music that uh, maybe maybe it counts. Maybe I have played the game by just listening to this all these songs. Now when I play Xenogears, I'll be disappointed because those songs don't sound like the remixes. What have I done? Oh man, speaking of more JRPGs that I haven't played, the Fantasy Star series, as my own excuse, again, I didn't have a Sega Genesis growing up, though I would have never played the Fantasy Star games as a kid. I just, this one, Fantasy Star 4, came out in 1993. No way, no way was, I was playing Aladdin on the Super Nintendo. I wasn't going to be playing something like Fantasy Star 4, the end of the millennium. Super Mario World, Street Fighter 2, Aladdin on the Super Nintendo, that's what I was doing in 1993. The intro is what definitely grabs me. It has this kind of ringing bell sound that just seems to fly off into space, and I, I love it. But another fast, beat-heavy song. Pretty groovy piece, and the remix here almost sounds like it could fit in a fighting game with the, uh, the electronic beat just kind of keeps repeating. You could hear this in that 30-second loop of a... Uh, a funny game like Street Fighter. I should have said Guilty Gear X since we featured that. This is called Millennial by DJ Pretzel from OCRemix.org from the game Fantasy Star 4, The End of the Millennium. Millennial by DJ Pretzel from OCRemix.org from the game Fantasy Star 4, The End of the Millennial. I, I think I tried Fantasy Star 1, or maybe Fantasy Star 2 on emulation when I was much younger and just downloading ROMs like crazy, but 
I, I don't think I really... De I definitely didn't latch on to anything in that game, so maybe now that I'm older, I should give these, the Fantasy Star games, a chance. But, again, something like Xenogears or uh, Wild Arms or Legendary Dragoon, those those are much higher on my to play list than the Fantasy Star games. This has been a pretty JRPG-heavy show, and I didn't plan it to be that way. We had Chrono Cross, we had Xenogears, we had Fantasy Star 4, and now we have something from Final Fantasy VI. And they're all, all uh, older JRPGs. Man, I'm, I must be stuck in a rut here. But this song, this song we're about to play, is something so special and so amazing. And we, we could have just done a whole show with just this song. This is called The Impresario. It's by Jake Kaufman and Tommy Padrini. It is a massive rock opera take of the opera scene from from Final Fantasy VI. So the Aria de Mezzo, the Overture, all that, the the wedding wa waltz, the duel. The, the whole opera scene for Final Fantasy VI is given such a tribute in this that maybe no other remix of that... <laughs> of that track ever has to be made. This comes from the Final Fantasy VI Balance and Ruin album, which, uh, you know, I, I feel uh, cliche since Final Fantasy VI is my favorite Final Fantasy and one of my favorite games of all time, to say that Balance and Ruin is one of my favorite albums. This song is is such a crazy stand-up because there is nothing like this. It has taken that opera scene from Final Fantasy VI and turned it to a rock opera by way of Queen. This, you can tell, there's so much Bohemian Rhapsody in this massive piece. It's such a fantastic homage to Queen, to Freddie Mercury, to Bohemian Rhapsody, and at the same time to Final Fantasy VI and that opera scene specifically. I can't imagine having that vision originally when they when they went to make this song and being able to craft this. It And it sounds like there's, at some times, it sounds like there's three or four other people singing, but it's just one person, which blew my mind when I first heard this track. I thought this was a huge collaboration, but it's not. It was just those two people. I said, Jake Kaufman and Tommy Padrini. And I know we played a Jake Kaufman song already, the Toe Jam and Earl, but to my defense, Jake Kaufman used to go by Vert, and that's what I have him on here on my iTunes. So I didn't know I was picking two Jake Kaufman's tracks. But the Cho Cho Jam and Earl song and this are so far apart, I don't even know if they're on the same planet anymore. Uh, this is a longer track with so many different elements and so many different twists and turns, and this, this, there's a story in there that you can follow, and it sounds like it could be coming out of an opera. It's, it's fantastic. I need to let the song play so that uh, hopefully... Hopefully, if you haven't heard this song before, you too can be blown away. This is The Impresario by Jake Kaufman and Tommy Padrini from OCRemix.org from the game Final Fantasy VI. Look into the sins of your past Love as if today were your last Better times have slipped away
Yeah. 
That was The Impresario by Jake Kaufman and Tommy Padrini from OCRS.org from the game Final Fantasy VI. Is your face unmelted? I, I don't believe you. I, I know, even though you're telling me that your face is unmelted, that it is indeed melted. That song, I just, I still, every time I hear it, I can't believe it. My wife, who has no experience with Final Fantasy VI, nothing. Final Fantasy VI, to her, is just a game that I have talked about to her. That is it. it, it she has no connection to it. And this track is one of her favorites. She, Even though that track was almost nine minutes long, she'll, she'll request it or put it on. Gone beyond the boundaries of just uh, video game fans. Uh, fantastic. And again, if you haven't listened to Balance and Ruin, the Final Fantasy VI album, go find it. It's amazing. Great cover art, too. Gosh, Final Fantasy VI is so good. <sighs> well, that was the last track of this show. So thank you for listening to Radio 64, Video Game Music Remix Radio. I have been your host, Eric Mc, also known online as Dust vs. Tweak. And despite this episode... I should tell you, I have played and beaten video games before in my life. I felt like every game on this episode, I'm like, I haven't played it, I haven't played it, I haven't played it. Boy, what is this game? Don't know about this game, but I have played video games. At least two, maybe even five. Radio 64 is part of the Radio Meanwhile Network. You can visit RadioMeanwhile.com for more information about this and other great podcasts. Find past episodes of Radio 64 on iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, and YouTube. Thank you to WRAQ 92.7 FM in Angelica, New York, for hosting us every Monday at 6 p.m. If you have any requests from games or remixes or source tunes, let me know on Twitter, and I will see you next time.